Hello and welcome to another edition of Pika TV Presents Sustainability and Your Marketing. This is the sixth in our educational mini series, and I'm your host, Paul Zafferana, one of the founders and head of global sales here at Pika Marketing Group. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about the concept of sustainable marketing. What is sustainable marketing? It's a process of promoting your products that are environmentally safe at a retail level and touting the company's commitment to a sustainable practices at the public relations level. It applies to traditional marketing techniques, but in a specific context. So what does it mean? You know, you, you want to leave the world a better place than what you found it. And you want to make it so that your or our next generation is able to have a, a planet to live on. So how do we go about doing that and then getting the word out there to our customers, our team, ourselves, right? So a lot of the um, products that are out there are made with conventional plastics, are made from fossil oils, from t-shirts and bags and bottles and totes and binders and you name it, are all made with... Um, fossil fuels or fossil oils out there. There's so many out there. But what if there was an opportunity to do bio-based or environmentally friendly sustainable products out there that are derived from uh, renewable resources? In some instances, we go from uh, a variety of different materials like bamboo and, and whatnot, which we'll talk about in a little bit, to also items that are cradle to cradle, meaning that it starts off and goes all the way through its life cycle and is repurposed in another uh, fashion. So these are great ways for you to take and do some environmental uh, looks if that is what your company decides to do. Stainless steel is a product. It's a water bottle. You look at it and go, it's stainless steel. Great. But as a metal, it's uh, one of those that has the cradle to cradle process to it and also has added benefits. So the metal in the stainless steel bottle is available and able to be recycled many, many times. Uh, but also you can use that same stainless steel bottle to not use as many plastic bottles. So you're getting uh, your daily beverage, you know, water hopefully, or some other beverage in there. Uh, some days I know you want more than water in there, but you know, let's start with water. Um, you're saving a lot of those plastic water bottles from going into a landfill. Uh, so that has a huge impact on the environment alone. Um, recycled plastic totes. You use these, you may or may not use them, but instead of doing those t-shirt bags, the plastic bags that you get at the grocery store or, or larger retailers, why not take those same plastic bags and you can get multi-uses out of them. Um, these recycled totes out there are made in most instances from some of the same plastic bags and or other materials that folks typically throw in the recycle bin. So it's a great way to uh, keep the brand out there in recycle plastic form. PET. So PET bottles, like all the uh, uh, plastic bottles that you may get, and there's a lot of brands out there, uh, pop bottles and, and so forth. I know Coca-Cola has a big uh, program out there that they use a lot of their uh, PET bottles. But think of some of the smaller brands that are out there. How could you take those same pieces and recycle them? They're making them into something as simple as a uh, umbrella, right? And you can use those made from sourced bottles and other plastics to make a lot of products out there. So you've got a, you've got a whole new product line out there made from PET bottles. Bamboo. This one's been around for a long time. Uh, it can be used in a lot of ways, whether it's a coaster, a pen set, USB drives, for instance, bottle openers, or even awards. Uh, utensils. The beautiful thing about bamboo is the fact that it can grow from what I understand up to about six feet in a day. It doesn't take a whole lot of water to do it and it's a great way to show how environmentally friendly you want to be. 
Uh, it's a renewable resources, and you can make a lot of different products with it. It's very sturdy. And bamboo, believe it or not, you can actually use it to make apparel out of. So you can get uh, a bamboo shirt, hat, so forth. And the inherent uh, abilities of bamboo makes it naturally antimicrobial, which I thought is an added benefit for it. So that's a great little way to uh, be sustainable as well as showcase uh, some other features to it that you may not have known. Rice, right? Who doesn't like rice? Well, what if you could take those rice husks and make some drinkware out of it? Well, we've got a solution for you on it. Rice husks are, husks are made, uh, utilized in the process of making um, some of our drinkware. Hemp, right? One of the, this is a fantastic piece right here. Hemp is the most useful plant on earth, uh, in our opinion, outside of some of the other features that uh, folks use for relaxation. It's a uh, great source of protein and minerals for and dietary fiber. And it can be used in lotions, in hair care products and cosmetic products. It's the ideal piece for making paper because it grows so great without having to chop down a lot of trees. So hemp is fantastic for that. You can use it in fabric and textiles and rope. You could use it uh, as a source of uh, fuel. And it's a great alternative for plastics. I could go on and on and on about all the great features of hemp out there. They're even using it to make building blocks in some parts of the world out there. Other part is, hey, you know what? You got all this stuff that you want to package out there. We can take and put it in an environmentally resourced and sustainable packaging out there. Uh, from the labels that go on there to the boxes and even the tissue paper and other carriers out there. So from start to finish on programs, we could take your, your item, package it up and put it up for retail for you or distribution to employees or clients in a very sustainable and resource uh, driven piece. So when I know a lot of the uh, environmental eco-friendly pieces came out, it was really, really expensive. If you think about it, back in the day, uh, a plasma TV, which there's not a whole lot of them around right now, plasma TV was about $10,000 when it first came out until more and more people started going out and purchasing TVs, which then led into the LED LCD TVs. And you didn't have these monster bulky TVs anymore. And right now you can go to your neighborhood big box store and pick up a a TV for a couple hundred bucks versus 10,000. So the more folks bring it into their mix, the more it's going to be accessible for folks to utilize as well as helping out the environment and our future generations. Let's face it, we're setting up our next generation. We wanna make them more successful than we were and be good stewards of our environment. So utilizing some environmental pieces out there is a great way to keep your brand uh, top of mind while also saving the environment. So to summarize, we've got uh, a couple more mini series coming up, utilizing your event calendar for maximum success, creatively mining for new clients, policing and protecting your brand and building a successful marketing campaign. So if you wanna hear more about how we can help you with your sustainable marketing, Reach out to us at pikamarketinggroup.com or paul at pikamarketinggroup.com. And we'd love to help you with your program and show you ways that you can be sustainable, environmentally friendly, and get your message out there. Until next time, have a great day. And we'll see you with some measurable marketing results.